Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Uh, just a little update here on this LevelMate Pro device that I uh, reviewed about a year ago. Um, early on they seemed to have some problems with the battery life. Um, whereas the little, uh, let's open it up here, the little watch battery in there wouldn't last very long. I guess what was happening is it's supposed to go to sleep and the, the sleep time that they used was quite long and led to the batteries uh, burning out pretty quick. So I know what they did on their firmware, they upgraded the firmware to it. Let me just see if I can find the, the spot here. Go in. Um, yeah, right there, if you see where it says, enter the number of hours before sleep. So if you set it to one hour before it goes to sleep, you can increase the battery life quite a bit. Um, last battery I used, I got three or four months out of it. But recently, I've noticed they've actually uh, come out with a second version of this. I guess you know 2.0. And I see they're offering customer loyalty offer. But they want $95. Like they'll sell you the new improved version and you can keep your old one but still ninety five dollars is quite a quite a bite um, it's supposed to have on off switch allows for complete battery life control upgraded temperature sensor uh, new circuit board design has increased energy efficiency new firmware increases stability in wake sleep modes so the key feature I see is they decided to put an on off switch on it so that way, if you, you get to your camp spot, you can actually turn it off. Say, we might be camped for two weeks. The so last place we were at, we were there for four months. So um, this way, instead of having to pull the, the cover off and remove the battery, the new one's going to have a switch. So I'm sort of going to mod mine here. Decided to put my own switch in. So what I'm going to do is I bought a, a cheap holder for the it's a 2032 CR2032 battery that's in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my own battery holder. Then I'm going to run some wires to a small switch and just mount it in the side there. That way, without taking it apart, I'll be able to just switch it off, switch it back on when I want to use it, and hopefully that'll save my battery life quite a bit. So let me go in there and solder it in, and then we can uh, give her a test. I think how I'm going to do it, as you can see, this has uh, two little pins on it. So I'm going to solder one pin to one side there. And then I'm going to take a, a blob of silicone and just set it right in the, the old uh, holder there. Then I can run a wire from the other pin and a wire from the other end there so that I, it opens up the battery. And I'll probably just have to bend these uh, little tabs out of the way so that, so that that other uh, thing doesn't make connection. Anyway, that's my plan. Okay, there we go. Got to mount it on that end, solder to that terminal, and then I got my wiring and my switch on the other terminal there quick test seems to be working so now I'm gonna stick some silicone underneath all that so it kinda gets a little bit of a mounting mounting spot so when I change the batteries it won't be damaging the connection there we go so I'll leave it apart and let all that silicone cure maybe we'll do a quick test here there's lots of clearance in there so okay that way Back in its mounted position. Let's give her a test. So I, it should be in the off position right now, so it shouldn't be able to connect. Fire up the app. Searching for devices. Okay. So I can't find it. Let's go up and flick it on now. Try again. There we go. Easy peasy. 
Let's do a quick check of the range in case that modification reduced its power. So I'm quite a bit away from the rig right now. Fire up the app. Oops. Yep, connected, no problem. There you go, neat little mod. Um, if you want to pick up one of these Level Mate Pros, I'll leave a link in the description below to the, the newer model that they have out. And uh, just a little caution if you follow what I've done here, I don't I may not know what I'm doing, I may be ruining this box, so take it for what it is. The risk is yours, just like I'm risking mine here. But I don't really see how it could cause any problems. All you're doing is basically breaking the connection to the battery there. Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, folks.